It is the beach huts at Southwold that immediately attract the photographic eye, all freshly painted with an assortment of colours bright and gleaming. Apparently there are 250. Walk out onto the pier and they stretch into the far distance. I had the good fortune to visit on a day of showers, and fortunately the rain cloud was at a safe distance, but making an incredible difference to the photograph. When caught in a shower, I seek refuge inside, in this case the Flint Church of St Edmunds. Simon Jenkins, in his book England's Thousand Best Churches, describes the interior as a hymn to light, and rates the choir stalls amongst the best in Suffolk. He also is complimentary about the exterior, and celebrates the work of the Suffolk Masons. The town is built around several greens, created after a devastating fire in 1659, and the lighthouse is Victorian. Not quite where you might expect it, but crammed in between buildings, a little further inland and some distance from the sea. If churches are your thing, then the wonders of Blytheborough are not far. By all means, take the car, but an easy level walk is for the taking from Southwold Beach to Blytheborough Village, further harbour on the River Blythe, and you can always return by bus. A flat landscape is more challenging photographically than a hilly one, where the contours are made for you. Time to search out for some upright features to break up the landscape and a decent sky. Now that can be more difficult. The woodland stretch was useful, but I have broken up the wide expanses of angel marshes with foreground reeds. Blytheborough village is attractive, but my focus is the church. The interior is renowned for the roof, its glorious feature being beautifully carved angels running above the nave from west to east. Recently they have been restored, but previously it was easy to see them riddled with shot. How they got there is uncertain. The two most popular theories being Cromwellian troops using them as target practice or from boys shooting jackdaws. Should you wish to use a tripod to get in close, that should not be a problem as I had the church to myself. However, these shots are handheld with the renowned Olympus image stabilizer, vastly improved since these shots were taken. On my last evening at Southwold, I was blessed with a glorious sunset. Having previously explored and crossed the River Blythe from the harbour to gain access to the Common and Blytheborough, I knew that the best viewpoint for a setting sun was from the river. It is a good mile from the town, but remarkable, you know, remarkable how the sky quickly changed during the walk. Even a rainbow as prelude to the final intense hues of the sunset. With such a huge amount of contrast, it is important to spot meter the highlights and then execute a bit of jiggery pokery in Lightroom, lightening shadows. Matrix metering will mess this up by reading too much from the dark hues. The photographer needs to take more control.